So what does this mean for the president medically? Dr. Joseph Fair is here now to tell us more. And Dr. Fair, we understand the president has received a antibody cocktail. I know we don't have all the specifics on what the president uh, is feeling right now or what's happening. Are you able to hear us? Yes. Okay, what do you think the, um, the cocktail, this antibody cocktail that he's taking right now, what would that be? It's a, uh, well, it's an experimental drug, but it already has what we call ex emergency use authorization from the FDA. And those are antibodies from survivors. They've isolated the ones that they know will uh, neutralize the virus and they clone them and then pharmaceutically manufacture them. And then they put them together in a cocktail and give it to the patient. So it's adding like specific artillery for COVID-19 to the patient's immune system. Dr. Fair, uh, for what we've heard of, the president is experiencing some mild symptoms. Do early symptoms give any indication as to how severe COVID-19 will get for an individual? They really don't, unfortunately. You know, the fact that he is retrieving, uh, is receiving treatment rather so very early on and if the treatment should prove effective. This is one of the treatments I should say that I am most optimistic about for COVID-19 is the monoclonal antibody therapy. But uh, should the treatment be effective and should he be treated very early on, you know, I think that he has every chance of, you know, not developing the full on disease course. That being said, he does have several high risk. He is in several high risk categories so that would um, predispose him to get sick from it but there's absolutely no way to tell at this point in time yeah so run through some of those because he's 74 so he's in his 70s is that one of the categories you're concerned yeah. about that is unfortunately one of the categories you know i wouldn't call that elderly but that is definitely getting up there and by definition you know would be considered a high risk category um he is uh i think slightly overweight um i don't know if he's technically obese but obesity is considered uh, a high risk uh, category for COVID-19. Um, I think there, I think I had read, but I'm not certain about this high cholesterol issues and things like that. So anything that you've got any kind of those underlying conditions that would predispose you to normal COVID infection, he's got them, uh, so, or at least a couple of them, I should say. And that doesn't necessarily mean he is going to, you know, get severely ill. It just means that he's got uh, a few of them combined. And again, as you mentioned in regards to what he's taking right now and how you have a really good feeling about this, what are some of the symptoms that will likely be coming in the weeks ahead as he is quarantining for the next two weeks, um, he and First Lady Melania? Well, first of all, don't let me say I'm, I'm hopeful about it because we try to get away from that. <laughs> but there is science to back this up. And that that is what makes me you know, hopeful about this is there there is solid science behind this monoclonal antibody cocktail with the treatment. Honestly, we've had it in so few people or they have actually they have had it in so few people that I don't really know how it's going to affect him. You know, there there may be side effects to the drug itself. Uh, this may be one of several drugs, and I would assume that's the case. I would assume in addition to the experimental treatment he's getting, he's probably also getting the remdesivir, which is the treatment that I think most of us have heard about, in addition just to other drugs that's going to be, you know, uh, help alleviate and uh, his immune response to the virus or dampen it, I should say, so that he doesn't experience what we call that cytokine storm or an overreaction of your immune system. So. In any other case, I would think there would be some kind of disease progression just because of the lack of, you know, definitive treatment options uh, and many of them right now. But with it being the president, I do think that, you know, he has a much better average, much better chance than average of coming out of this on the other end. OK, Dr. Fair, we appreciate your perspective on this, and I'm sure you, like all Americans, are hoping that he has a speedy and quick recovery.